All right, we're down on Music Row again in Nashville, Tennessee, but yet with another end of the, the, the country music industry. It doesn't have to really be the country music industry, but right now we've got Mr. Dave Tuff with us this morning. It. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we're at Curb so Curb well, College. This, yeah, this is the Curb College, and we're in the Mike Curb building right now. In fact, this building here used to be uh, Sony Records, and guess what? Even before that, it was... The Quonset Hut, which was probably one of the first, if not the first, recording studio in Nashville. So uh -huh. you guys are in hollowed ground right here. Uh, like, <laughs> I tell you, this whole music row it, it yeah, yeah. is hollowed ground. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about this morning, we were sitting in um, Troy Thomason's office. And yeah. I, I, before we went in, I said, man, if you could just somehow yeah. absorb all the conversations, pull them out of the walls mm -hmm. that's going yeah. on. Yeah. And same way mm -hmm. here. I mean, yeah. you know, this is a part of a, the music history. Yeah. I feel so. I mean, even just down the road, or that that next office next to mine is Paul Worley's old office. Oh so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. So it's just everybody's been here, which is great. <laughs> Trying to live up to, don't you? Well, golly, <laughs> it, it, it's it's a little overwhelming. So I try to try to not even think <laughs> exactly. about that. You know, yeah. you, you start thinking about that, and then you start falling no, all I over know. yourself. I know. Your part right now, you were just telling me uh, earlier that you're really wanting to get in the producing end. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing um, producing here in Nashville for about four years. And before that, I was in L.A. for five years. Mm -hmm. uh, and before that, I was in Dallas. So I've always produced, although I worked on the business side. I worked for uh, Warner Chapel, mm -hmm. uh, which is a publishing company. Right. So I've done the copyright and the legal angle. And then I also did the marketing angle. I worked for Capitol Records mm -hmm. and a bunch of other companies, too. A&R for Taxi, which is a uh, online A&R mm -hmm. company. And, but, you know, I... I liked producing the best because uh, I like being in the driver's seat. I like being creative and uh, that's kind of what gets me up, you know, gets me going in the day. It's just looking forward to, to doing something creative. But you went, I mean, your your part goes way back with, with yeah. Doug Tuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, well, Dave, well, my, my actual... I'm sorry, Dave. Well, Dave Tuff is yeah, my namesake. Yeah. So right. Mm -hmm. He's actually a great, great uncle, but he was a big band drummer mm -hmm. for uh, Woody Herman and Benny Goodman and it's a small world. I mean, there's not that many Tufts, you know. Uh, exactly, uh, and that's T O U G H. Yeah, you got yeah, it, like yeah. tough guy. That's I, what I told him. I told uh, Justin when I was coming over here. I said, I think I'll just uh, test him and see how tough he is. Sock him right <laughs> in the stomach. See how that does. Plus but, <laughs> but, but uh, of course, you uh, got into uh, uh, drums or yeah. uh, drumming. Uh, yeah, drummers. So, and and my great uncle. Um, well, my I I say great uncle. He's a distant relative. I'm not exactly sure what the relationship it is. Like, but like I said, uh, Dave Tuff, the drummer, and he was a drummer. And what was funny is I didn't know. Uh, he was a drummer till I went to school for drums, and everybody said, "Are you related to that, you know, Dave Tuff, the drummer?" And I mm -hmm. said, "What?" So yeah, so jazz drums is my background, and now I play bass and sing in an '80s cover band. Yeah, right yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I'll, I'll go bring that up too. So, I mean, every part of music. I mean, you can't. What else can you get into? I, I, just I mean, love, I just love music. What can I say? Exactly. I mean, right. I mean, it's something like I said. It gets me up in the morning. It gives me something to look forward to. I never want to feel like work, you know. Well, and, and I guess going back as a kid, I mean, you had to almost love it, I yeah. guess, from... Well, it, it, my family, it's my great-grandma. No, my grandma, I said. It's not my great-grandma. My grandma, she had a radio show, and she played accordion and, mm -hmm. and hosted the radio mm -hmm. show. And she played by ear. My dad plays by ear. My mom, uh, loved, she plays more classically, my mom. But mm -hmm. everybody plays a little bit, but they never did it as a career. What a co combination, though, you had. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with all those jeans yeah. and with everything. <laughs> yeah, well, you, couldn't, you couldn't help but... No, nah, it, it's, it's fun, though. I like to do it. I like to do it, so. We were just talking about it being such a small world. You were talking about Shane Hill, who's yeah. also playing with the Sawyer Brown yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it that the, that that circle of uh, country music that family is so small yeah. you never know and and like I was telling you uh, well Shane has sung on gosh uh, probably five of my own songs but mm -hmm. then I don't know fifteen other clients that I've worked on I use mm -hmm. him as a demo singer a lot right and I just got one of the songs he's singing placed in a movie for, uh, Seth Rogen the guy mm -hmm. that was on Super Bad and all mm -hmm. that. It's going to be him singing on the next Seth Rogen movie. So li listen for him. Oh, man, will it be? I'm checking it out all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. so as far as your writing goes, yeah. I mean, what what do, is it? Anything that you uh, I don't know how like to write or about. Yeah. I mean, do you have a certain area well, that I'm a producer writer? Mm -hmm. I think it's a little different because most people in Nashville are mainly songwriters. Mm -hmm. Like okay. you see them okay. out there with the guitar and their pad, but. I'm more of a, uh, I guess maybe an LA type of writer where I'll get the track going and then after I get the music going, I'll add the lyrics. So 
I could say I'm oh, probably okay. more on the, okay. on the pop side mm -hmm. slash pop country. Mm -hmm. I even do a little bit of R&B. But mm -hmm. the, the great thing about Nashville, and I don't know if you've, you've probably gotten this from your other interviews, is although we're known as the country music capital of the world, we really have so many styles here going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of independent records mm -hmm. coming out. There's oh, a yeah, lot of gospel, yeah. mm -hmm. a lot of R&B, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of rap even. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, that's why they call it Music City. And uh, <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't get anybody. And you're you're right. I, I guess with me being so in tune with country music, yeah. you're, you're you're right. It, it's it's and it's all in a, a, a and really you know what? small area. One of the big reasons I moved here from LA is I said, where is the cheapest place in the country for studio time? Mm -hmm. Because of the internet, it doesn't matter where you are nowadays, mm -hmm. right? It, I mean, you can be in uh, Wisconsin and, and have a record deal, but where's the cheapest place with the cheapest studios? And it was Nashville. And I, you know, I mean, I, the, the most quality musicians, all of that. And they are all yeah. over the place. I mean, yeah. there's so many uh, homes that are studios. Yeah. That's what yeah. everybody has yeah. done. If one, what I'm finding out, too, a lot of the artists, you know, instead of going in the studio, they go to a house, yeah. go in the closet, yeah, and do, yeah. do, their, do their singing, do their you vocals, know, yeah. have the tracks, uh, you know. It's amazing what you can do with the Pro Tools stuff nowadays. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. The yeah. digital is, uh, yeah. uh, Justin uh, Clayton and I were talking about, well, of course, he's so Techie. I mean, you know, but that's where it's uh, it, it's yeah. where it's hidden. So yeah. you got to, you know, it's and real to can, real won't ever come back. And you can produce nowadays. So we already get the call know, already. That's, what, <laughs> that's his producer. The, yeah, the yeah. producer's producer's yeah, call. Yeah, well, Go ahead and get that. Phone. Yeah. Oh, what I was going to tell you is that I'm important uh, phone call, but we're back right now. Uh, uh, teaching a class now here uh, on demo making, but it, there's such a fine line. I mean, there's really no demos anymore. Uh, there's demos to pitch songs, but if if it's done in a home studio, it can sound like a record, mm -hmm. which is just so bizarre. You know, you not think, really like, any, 10 years ago. Not any rough cuts. I mean, yeah, it yeah, sounds... Yeah, it sounds like a record, so it's crazy. And, and, and because of that, uh, you know, artists are able to now distribute, you know this, uh, on the internet and everything, mm -hmm. and they don't have to have a record, mm -hmm. record label to, to pay for their studio time because they can do it at home, so... Let me tell you something. We could sit here, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and before I came in here, this guy right here is so far over my head. He is. He has had to bring himself down to this no, old no. country boy right here. But I really think I mean, we could sit here and, and, oh, and yeah. dissect and, and, and the, the whole music industry. And it is. It, yeah. I, I guess one thing I want to ask you, if, if there's a young person that's wanting, you know, they're in maybe high school right now, mm -hmm. and they they love music. And, and, and so many, so many avenues that they can pursue. What would you say to somebody, uh, how, how to get involved in it? Gosh, that, that's, I mean, that's, 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 that's I know that's, that's a that's tough a, one. It's, it's so broad too. Um, you know, the one thing I tell people first of all is that you're not reinventing the wheel. Right. So study other artists that you that you admire, or, or producers, or whatever you want to do, songwriters. Mm -hmm. How did they get to where they are? How mm -hmm. did they get from point A to point B to point C? Because, mm -hmm. you know, no one becomes a star overnight. No. I think when we watch TV, we think, oh, he just, you know, he was discovered, he became, or he or she. But look at those artists. How did they get to where they are? And so each, every person has a different career path. But a lot of people will find a mentor. Mm -hmm. and, a, and a lot of times that just means moving to a music center. You don't have to do that, but New York, L.A., Los Angeles. But things may happen quicker if you're around a music center. If not, find a mentor locally that's connected to one of those music mm -hmm. centers and have them develop you. So, good advice yeah. from, a, from a man <laughs> from a man that knows, Mr. Dave Tuff. We're at Music Row in Nashville, Tennessee, at Curb College, and I just want to yeah. thank you for your time. We appreciate and it. And yeah, look forward to so seeing much. you around. Yeah, too. I'm going to watch the show. So. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate. Y'all hang around. We'll be right back.